almost one-fifth of the world's population, that's over one billion people, live in areas where water is scarce. Water scarcity affects one in three people on every continent, and is getting worse as water needs rise with population growth, urbanization, and increased usage. In Israel, scientists at the Hebrew University's Robert H. Smith Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment are investigating the quickest and most effective ways of conserving and recycling natural water resources as levels decline. Water research is important because water is life. Without water, nothing can exist. We need a lot of water, the population is growing, but also we need water of good quality. Because of diminishing rainfall, in recent years, researchers based in Israel are learning by necessity not to reinvent the wheel, but to reinvent the water. Israel is a dry area. The natural water resources is not enough for the development of the country. So we need to create more water. So how exactly is this team of scientists going to create more water? by learning how to reuse contaminated water. The best technology to do that is this kind of uh, membrane filtration. Membranes are very thin skin, which designs to remove tiny particles from water, such as, such as virus, such as uh, waste for nanotechnologies. Since water pollution and scarcity is a worldwide issue, researchers from around the world come to the Hebrew University to learn about water treatments that will be viable and economical for their own regions. Out of the world, there's a problem of uh, getting safe water. So uh, in China, we also met this problem. I came to Hebrew University because the water treatment and re reuse technology is very uh, famous in the world. After my postdoc, I will bring this technology back to China and to give the safe water to the Chinese people. The Hebrew University's Water Treatment Technology Laboratory, a leading research center for filtration, treatment and reuse of wastewater is already making a splash around the world. Its continued research efforts will help to ensure sufficient uncontaminated water for years to come. In order to cope with this, we need chemists, and we need biologists, we need engineers, and the Hebrew University has excelled in those professions. So this is an important task that we are doing here.